talking? What's good, people? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, please do subscribe down below. Smash the like, hit the bell. Those things help out a lot. YouTube does notify people when we upload, so just make sure you hit that bell. Anyway, guys, today we got a dope episode for you because it's all about making use of trim. What's the best way to use that trim? Because that trim can actually be gold, and you can turn that waste into gold by using the trim the right way. The old adage, waste not, want not, certainly applies to discarded trim. Because that trim can be used in a wider range of ways to create a lot of different types of consumer products including like even a pizza topping who knew that so smash the like button for that because that is crazy man. before we get into that guys huge shout out to everyone that's supporting on patreon man if you ain't supporting on patreon definitely head on over there we got a lot of exclusive content we're posting only on there for only patrons and vip's got a lot of free stuff sent to them great perks join up with the vip bean club man a lot of great stuff going on over there and i don't want you to miss out now without further ado let's get into today's episode <laughs> Yes, guys, now savvy growers know that when it comes to harvesting flowers, the plant's trim can be just as valuable as the flowers itself. Sugar leaves, those smaller trichome trench leaves that usually grow out of the flowers, those often contain a significant amount of THC and CBD. While the fan leaves may comprise only a very light dusting of trichomes, they're also very nutritious, I'm talking extremely nutritious and should not be discarded or regarded as a waste of time either. There are a lot of different ways that you can make use of every leaf on the plant and the plant that you spend so much time growing, you should not waste anything on it, right? So here are four ways that you can use your sugar leaves. First off, what actually is a sugar leaf? Well, that little leaf that protrudes out from the bud, often coated in sugary trichomes come harvest season, those are the sugar leaves. And the plant sugar leaves are a significant source of THC, but also tend to produce a much harsher smoke. So you don't want to be just smoking a set of leaves. For that reason, a lot of growers prefer to trim the sugar leaves from their plant and toss them. But a lot of smart growers will actually transform their trichome covered leaves into valuable products. So what valuable products can you use? Well, first off, you got keef. A lot of people love keef. And we all know what keef is. Turning sugar leaves into keef is like turning water into wine. That's some Jesus shit. The trim machine will help growers to collect keef, trichomes, and loose resin and stuff like that from the trimmings, either automatically or you can use a silk screen. Simply rub your sugar leaf across the silk screen and let the keef fall through a dry tray below and since keef contains high levels of THC, many consumers choose to roll it into the joints for a more intense buzz. They can also press it into hash or bake it into cookies. A lot of places actually sell keef on its own and that shit is super high in THC. Trust me, I got some out in Vegas and shit banged. Now you can also make homemade hash cakes. Producing hash from sugar leaf can be time consuming depending on the quality you're after. Hand making hash is a sticky, often messy job. Shout out to French cannoli, legend in the hash making game. But it is sticky and sometimes messy, but there are a lot of other DIY options that you can use. A pollen press is probably the simplest and most affordable tool that growers can use to compress their keef into hash cakes. But it doesn't stop there because you can also extract rosin. That's number three. Rosin is a semi-transparent concentrate that can boast levels of more than 80% THC. Sugar leaves can be pressed into rosin with an industrial press or even with a hair straightener from your girlfriend. And then you can reheat it and vaporize it. That's banging. Either way, either method promises insanely potent results. Perfect. Perfect. Now you can also make edibles with that trim. Whether you want to make can of muffin, whether you want to make wake and bake brownies, most edibles start with THC or CBD infused oil. You can grind up your trim, you can bake it, decarb it, and then toss it in a crock pot with coconut oil or butter for several hours. After after running that oil through a after running that mixture through a strainer, you can use the oil in a number of different sweet and savory recipes. The remaining plant matter and oil will still contain trichomes, so just make sure to save it and extract it more later on. Now, when it comes to the fan leaves, guys, what are we going to do with the fan leaves? Sugar leaves, awesome. Fan leaves, what can we do with those ones? Fan leaves may not offer the psychoactive experience that makes the plant so popular, but that's not to say they're entirely worthless, though. There are actually a few ways that you can keep your fan leaves out of the trash and use them for something good. First off, you can make a soothing salve or a lotion. Cannabinoids are easily absorbed through the skin, which makes them excellent for treating conditions like acne and localized pain, such as arthritis and stuff like that. A cannabis style is reasonably easy to make at home. It's a terrific way to use all of those fan leaves. All you gotta do is follow the steps that I just mentioned when it comes to making the oil, and then simply pour it into molten beeswax to make your salve. You stir it well, store it in a cool dark place, and you're good to go. Now you can also take those fan leaves and juice them. Yep, juice fan leaves for healthy living. Juicing fan leaves is probably the most easiest way to consume all the nutrients found in the raw plants, including iron, zinc, and calcium. All you gotta do is toss 15 or more fan leaves into a juicer and then add some of that juice into your favorite smoothie. Raw plants contain pretty much 0% THC, so consumers don't need to worry about catching a buzz on that beverage. You ain't gonna get super late or nothing like that. 
but it gonna taste good. Growers also freeze fan leaves to preserve the nutrients for future juicing. Think about that. Just let that sink in. Now, like I mentioned at the top of the video, you can also use those fan leaves as a herb for pizza. Yep, dry fan leaves make a wonderful topping for pizzas and pastas, just like salt and pepper. All you gotta do is grind up your dried fan leaves and sprinkle them onto any dish that you normally would season. Likewise, you can place dried leaves into a tea infuser with hot water and any other ingredients you enjoy for a tea that promotes that nice relaxation. This video is brought to you by Mars Hydro where they have a variety of grow lights and grow tents for growers of all experience levels. Whether you're a small home grower or setting up a slightly bigger commercial operation, they have the tents and lights for you. They have tents for every space and need, including the new two-in-one tents. And they also have a wide variety of lights to choose from, including full spectrum LED and the new detachable FCE series. Links to all of the products that we use on this channel, including the Mars Hydro Grow Lights, are in the description below. Be sure to use the links below to support the ICANN THC channel. You can also save a few bucks on the Mars Hydro website by using the code ICANN THC at checkout for store-wide savings. Don't forget to use the code and save yourself a few bucks. Now, back to the video. So all that said, trimming your plants is a must for growers to ensure healthy plant growth and abundant yields, but there's no need to throw away any part of the plant. Even the roots, you can use the roots, literally. Those roots and branches of the plants can have a useful afterlife. If you dedicated months and months of time and energy to growing and caring for that plant, why not make the most out of everything it has to offer, guys? So smash the like button for that and let me know if you use any other parts of the plant other than the flowers. Drop it in the comments down below and let me know. But wait, before you guys head out, check out this video right here. And this video right here and we'll see you on the next one peace fam